Selling your product or service on video is hard. Attention spans are shrinking faster than ever, and you provide so much value to your customers. How do you communicate it all in a short amount of time? How do you frame your offer in a way that the customer not only understands what you're providing, but it also entices them and makes them want to buy? I'm gonna show you a very simple process for making this happen. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's get started. I'm Owen Video. Hi, I'm Owen Video, founder of The Video Marketing School, where business owners like you learn the art and science of online video marketing. You're watching this video on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe where we've got a new tip each week. You've probably already made video advertising your company, your product, or your service, and it was probably pretty good. But if nobody bought from you, how good was it? It's harder than ever nowadays to get people to notice you on the web and so you've got to have a systematic way of presenting your product and service so that your customers they hear it and they know that it's for them okay that's key they know that when they hear about this product it's designed for them and it's also packaged in a way where they they sort of understand what they're getting see i think the biggest problem with so many of you guys is that you're you're saying hey i i can offer everything to you i can meet all of your fitness needs and sort of what you're saying is you're remaining so intangible that I don't even know that your product is designed for me. So in this video, I wanna share with you a three-step process for framing your offer on video, but you can also use this in person at conferences, at the chamber meetings, every single place that you go. The first step in framing your offer is this. Number one, determine your core audience, all right? Now, I know that you probably serve multiple different audiences, right? For example, if you're a gym owner, then you probably serve soccer moms, okay? But you probably also serve, you know, like high school athletes and, and maybe you've got a strong sort of uh, dad crowd in there. But, but what you're gonna have to do for framing your offer, you've gotta frame your offer for one group of people at a time. If you serve more than two audiences, then you're gonna frame two different offers. But for this example, I want you to stick with one. So let's stick with soccer moms in this case. So for whatever industry that you're in, I want you to pick one core demographic that you serve. And the best way to do this is just to take a look at your company right now and say, who's the main audience that I serve? Is it women of this age, men of this age, kids of this age, whatever the case might be. Take a look at that. But if you're still struggling, I want you to take a look at your last best customer. Okay, your last best customer. Just follow that demographic and see and see what it is. Okay, so pick one core demographic for your customer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna carve out a statement that's framed like this. So take a look at this statement here because you're gonna create a statement just like this. I help target audience to achieve a desired result with my product. It's like so simple, <laughs> right? But you're gonna follow that model and, and you're gonna follow it for yourself. But to do that first, you have to determine your core audience. So first, you've determined your core audience. And now what you have to do, this is the hard part, is you have to offer one core product. You're gonna select the most popular selling service at your company, and you're gonna pitch this to them on video. Now, this is gonna be hard for you to do if you've been a service provider for quite some time. If you do needs analysis with your customer to where you're saying, customer, tell me what you need and I'll create for you a pro proposal. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna put you in a place where you're making custom proposals over and over and over again for customers that may or may not buy this. No way to grow your business. In fact, if you've been in that situation before, I want you to comment in the comment section below and let me know that you completely relate to that, to that dilemma, okay? You've gotta pick one core product. You wanna get rid of this needs analysis type of language. You want to move forward with what they're buying anyway. And this is why, okay, this is why you sell them what they're buying anyway. Okay, the the, the big mistake here is that I know a business owner will, will try to go in this direction. Well, I got this new product or I got this new thing. You really want to avoid that and just go with what's selling. When you want to launch a new thing, then you need to launch it, okay? And be sure to subscribe to the channel 
because we've got a video coming out on how to launch a new product or service to your marketplace. All right, so you've picked this demographic and you've picked one core product that you're gonna offer them. Now you've got the first two thirds of your, of your sentence, which is I sell X to Y. So let's continue with the gym ownership analogy and you, you've picked soccer moms as your core demographic and you've sort of looked at your company and you say, okay, well, most of my, most of my soccer moms, those are my, my mom's ages, you know, 35 to, to 50 or are in my morning boot camp. That's going to be the product that you're going to move forward with. You know, you're going to talk to them about your morning boot camp. Now, keep in mind, you've got other stuff that you can sell to them, but you're going to lead with one product and you're going to avoid all this, you know, meet with me and decide what's best for you, right? You're going to go straight with, here's what I do. Okay. And that positions us perfectly into step three. What is the desired result the customer wants from your service? The desired results the customer wants from the service. Okay. Now the big hint here is the customer has some external needs. They've got some external desires that they want to see happen it, when they look in the mirror or, or when they open the door at home or whatever the case might be, it's an external desire. But those external desires are largely motivated by internal desires or internal fears even, right? So if you're a video marketing company or you're a marketing agency and you sell marketing to people, externally, the business owner wants results, right? They want leads and sales. But internally, you're likely to find a desire similar to, I wanna spend more time with my kids, or I wanna walk around proudly like I've mastered the business, you know, the business game. So there's always an, an external desire and there's always an internal desire. Where you can, you wanna focus on the internal desire. And this pulls on a philosophy that I call, show them you know them, right? The closer that you can get to calling out their, their real desire, the more likely they're going to connect with you and go like, oh, and man, you get me. Like, you know what I want. You know what I'm looking for. So with Soccer Moms, we're going to formulate our full offer now, pulling from the formula that we introduced earlier, right? I help customer achieve desired result with my product. And we're going to pull in what we use from part one and two to frame our offer that now sounds like this. I help soccer moms stay sexy and increase energy with a six week morning boot camp. Boom. This is what you're going to say in the beginning of all of your videos. Hey, I'm Owen and I help soccer moms stay sexy with my six morning, uh, six week morning boot camp. You're going to say that when you meet people on the street, you're going to say that when you go up in front of the chamber of commerce. And people are going to start to recognize you now. You're going to say it the same way every time people are going to start to recognize you. They're going to see that you framed your offer. And when they see you, they're going to know you as the morning boot camp for soccer moms. And you're going to fill out all of your classes. You're going to, you're going to sell out all of your products. And then you can start moving on to framing your offer to other demographics and increasing and growing your business. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use this framing to create a package for your customers. And you don't wanna miss this video. When you create a package for your customers, your product or service is gonna sell like hotcakes, folks. Like hotcakes, because it's 2019 and hotcakes are all the rage. So click on the video now go and watch it and continue your journey into video marketing i'm owen video and i'll see you there